changing decimals into fractions. Changing a decimal to a fraction. Start with 0 0.41. Since we're going to make it into a fraction, we'll draw a fraction bar. The number that you see becomes the numerator. So we'll put 41 in the top. We won't use a decimal point. We find the last numeral in the decimal, which in this case is a 1. The 1 happens to be in the hundredth position. So we will put 100 in the denominator. So 0 0.41 becomes 41 over 100. Zero point zero two seven. Again, we draw the fraction bar. The number that you see becomes the numerator without the decimal point and in this case without any leading zeros. Those are zeros between the decimal point and the first non-zero number, which in this case is a two. So twenty-seven becomes the numerator. We find the last numeral in the decimal, which in this case is a seven. The 7 is in the thousandth position, so we put a 1,000 in the denominator. So 0 0.027 becomes 27 over 1,000. I'll wait a second while you do this one quickly. So 0 0.063. We draw a fraction bar. Again, the number that you see becomes a numerator. 603. No decimal point again. We find the last numeral in the decimal, which is the 3. The 3 happens to be in the thousandth position. So I put a thousand in the denominator. So 0 0.603 becomes 603 over 1,000. Two point zero zero seven. We draw the fraction bar. The number that you see becomes a numerator, 2007. Again, without the decimal point, and in this case, we do need all the zeros that are between the 2 and the 7. We find the last numeral in the decimal, which in this case is a 7. The 7 happens to be in the thousands position, so we put a thousand in the denominator. So 2.007 as a fraction becomes 2,007 over 1,000. Now you've noticed that this is improper. In other words, improper means the numerator is larger than the denominator. We could convert this from here into a mixed number, or we could check out the presentation on changing a decimal to a mixed number, which has a smoother method for converting a decimal into a fraction when the fraction is going to end up to be improper. Bonus material. Repeating decimals. We're going to turn repeating decimals into fractions. 0. 234, 234, 234, and so on. It's written as 0 0.234 with a bar over the top, or 0 0.234 repeating, or 0 0.234 bar. Since so we're making it a fraction, we draw the fraction bar. The digits that repeat become the numerator, so 234 goes on top. 
count the number of digits, which is 3. That tells us the number of nines that go in the denominator. Since there are three digits, we put three nines in the denominator. So 0 0.234 repeating becomes 234 over 999.